All right, how's it going, everyone? So, update from today. Um, the judge who's now running the case, Judge Daniel Martin, uh, basically said he is not convinced voter secrecy is being upheld. Shocker, because of his background. Uh, he also declined to extend a previous judge's order that auditors um, by the Senate comply with state voter privacy laws, at least until he hears more at a hearing on Wednesday. So, looking at it here, that's, and I'll link both of these videos here, they're also talking about this. The new judge in the audit case worked for Perkins Coy, and I'm probably butchering the name there. So, if, and I'm going to give this a video, actually, a like, and a subscribe. Uh, um, so that being said, it's like, okay, you, you got rid of the old judge because, I mean, realistically, they got rid of the old judge because he put up that million dollar bond and the Dems were like, oh, we're going to play some dirty politics to get you out. And they did. And that was because an intern worked at their office, right? Or the, at the judge's office who's now on the case or something like that. So it's like, okay, conflict of interest. I have to recuse myself. So that judge recuses himself. But then they put in another, a new judge who's probably not going to recuse himself that has direct relations to the people suing. Funny how that works. So that happened. <laughs> um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens tomorrow. And there's another one here. Uh, apparently the Arizona Attorney General rejects a call for a probe of Maricopa County. So let, let's actually look that up here. Uh, see if that's actually factual. Um, this was three days ago, so this is factual. Um, Arizona's Attorney General rejects call for probe of Maricopa County 2020 election audit. Uh, Arizona's Attorney General has brushed away the state's top election officials' call for an investigation into possible irregularities in a, legis in a legislative chamber's newly begun audit of the 2020 election results from the state's most populous county. And of course, the Secretary of State's uh, Katie Hobbs, who called all Trump supporters neo-Nazis and has said some very nasty things, and which, by the way, oversaw the 2020 election, and it's probably shitting them herself right now because if they actually find something in the audit and more or less votes come back on the recount, because the electors went to Biden because the executive branch certified it. And if <laughs> if that happens, well, holy shit, someone's getting fired. Someone's probably going to jail. So valid complaints will be investigated. Um, our attorney general wrote, any such complaints, however, must be based on credible facts and not congesture of politics. Right? So you had... Um, and this is what kicked the media out, like I mentioned the other day, is you had some partisan media members um, basically um, making some claims and them bringing up in court. And that's when you had the million dollar bond and all this other stuff. And there's a couple different factors that led up to that. But I believe one of them was uh, media interference. And that's why the media was not allowed in the building. I don't know if that decision was reversed. Uh, with the new judge, but um, I mean, like I mentioned in my previous videos covering this, you can literally look at the cameras and you can see what exactly is going on inside. I mean, it's empty right now. You, you have security roaming around the presence or the, the property here. Um, so the, the, you know, security has a presence here and law enforcement, but like literally nothing, nothing's going on. Like nothing nefarious is happening. So this is a very secure process and I'm, I am curious and I'm, when I go to the press conference, I'm going to find, I'm going to try to get a little bit more information on that. They're probably not going to reveal it. Um, but you know, they are talking about voter privacy laws, right? I'm sure the people working for the auditing firm, which is, uh, cyber ninjas, um, and they do a lot of high tech stuff like security wise. Right. So if they, and these guys were calling uh, calling out from the beginning, hey, something's up, something's up from the information that was released. And if they can prove this, you know, this is just that domino effect that's going to go to all the states that had Dominion software. 
Um, and again, we'll see what happens. You know, it's in the initial stage of this, but um, it, it, it's just really funny the the less backlash to this. They're like, oh, you know, we're we're concerned about voter privacy and all that stuff, but you don't care about auditing the voter rolls because you know you know, there's probably dead people on there that voted and, um, you know, potentially illegal immigrants, people coming in from out of state and filing a provisional ballot. You have all these, um, situations that can happen. Um, so the fact that they don't want to audit it again is, <laughs> makes it very suspicious. You know, it's like, oh, you look even more guilty now because you're saying no. So, Again, um, conflict of interest with the new case or with the new judge ruling the case. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I want to get this video out by tomorrow. Uh, so this will play early in the morning. And then I'm going to run the immigration video a little bit later because I just want to, again, provide you guys an update on uh, what happened today and go from there. And then uh, tomorrow I'll be down getting more finishing up uh, interviews and doing all that. And I'll put together some more content for you guys. And uh, I'll try to do like a nightly release or um, which will you know be posted the following morning. Uh, just talking about um, last night's events or yesterday's events, depending on the timeline of what's going on with the audit here. So uh, again, thank you all for watching. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well. And uh, talk to you all later.